The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, weighing in at 268 pounds, Paul Burchell. From the bottomless pit, the Boogeyman. The city so nice they named it twice. Tonight, SmackDown comes to you from the Big Apple, New York City. A place that I am very proud to call home, Cole, and also a place that I'm proud to say I made my WWE debut. It sure is, partner. And you know, it's always a huge event whenever SmackDown comes to the city that never sleeps. He saw that one coming. on Dream Street, Cole. Anything goes now. Unfortunately, you're right, Taz. There's no one to enforce the rules until the ref revives. Man, it's a poor look like a poke with that counter. Nice, oh. quick counter. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think you're easy picking. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings. No matter Man. This crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. Oh. And he's feeding off that energy right now. Man, you talked about 
about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Paul, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Kalita. He might be a little tough on the stand sometimes, but at least he knows when it's a mission of a We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. If you end up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for you. Know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got oh. the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. You couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that he's got his opponent trapped in the car buckle, and here comes the like sandwiches. And from the looks of things, they taste even worse than they want. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this will not improve your odds of winning any. You can say that again, Taz. A vicious series of blows there in the corner of the ring. And here we go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hold, Paul. Oh. That was a textbook reversal. Like him or not, you've got to admit that the Boogeyman is a master of getting inside the heads of his opponents. Yeah, he's definitely a freaky yeah. dude. Kind of like you, oh. Michael. You're a freaky individual also. You gotta be careful when you're going up there. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is gonna have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. But what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. The Boogeyman is a sick, twisted individual, and those are his good qualities. He's a unique character for sure, Taz, but he seems to resonate with these fans. Well, then I guess the WWE fans, they're just as sick and twisted as the Boogeyman. If he's the kind of character that we're for, they ain't a lot to each his own. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on a Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. Oh, come on, quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. As shocking and disturbing as the Boogeyman is, Taz, there's a part of me that really enjoys this theatrics. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. This is what we need, more guys around here that want to eat worms and smash clocks into their heads. I think you're forgetting that this is sports entertainment, Taz, and the Boogeyman definitely has the entertainment part of that equation now. I'll tell you what, call me old school, but uh, I kind of prefer a guy who gets it done traditionally. Unlike the Boogeyman, this guy is an enigma. I just 
just don't get the boogeyman. I mean, not for nothing. What is up with the worm eating? I couldn't tell you, partner. But if that's the secret to his success, maybe more superstars should try that diet. He's looking for a signature maneuver here. <laughs> He might have gotten the pinfall call, but I'd be real surprised if we didn't see a rematch after that one. I'm here for your and I think these fans are too. Well, I hope so, Cole, because when the fans speak, the WWE listens.